Day three. You're finally awake. Good morning. I've already had breakfast, showered, breakfast. and ready to go. <laughs> Yo, the AI voice yes, acting. I'm man. Oops. I think I've seen these nightmares as well. They seem familiar. Really? This doesn't sound good. I don't think this is supposed to happen. You got me worried there. We should step by Kingdom Hospital later and have the interface checked, just to be sure. Okay. Uh, peace up. There's a present lying at the doorstep. I'll put it on the counter. Oh, do we not want to huh. open it? Oh, we do Didn't want to open it. That. There's a small card. It reads, training begins Saturday. Be a good pup and wait for your owner at the doorstep. Jeff. This is a very specific I can't believe I'm carrying this around. thing. Very All specific relationship, huh? Feel on my neck. Saturday can't come soon enough. Bro, what are you guys doing to each other, huh? I mean, Agent you know, each year on each year. than expected, so he's going to help out on Amy's case. You'll go down to the underground tunnels at Vohu Mana Station and supervise the proceedings there. I'm getting impatient. Find out what's taking so long. Oh, great. Wandering through the shitty sewers. Exactly what the doc prescribed me. Agent Tanner has a meeting with the bishop. I don't think you would want to swap places with her. Miss Tanner, I wished you would inform me before I I'd not to have sexual relations with that you woman. Shed some light on what it will be about. As stated in my report, the book recovered from the church contained an old hidden text. The owner of the bookstore, also doing business with the bishop, informed him of my inquiries. So I hope to learn more about the book and its connection to McCarthy's death. And what about the death of that kid, Aaron Nowak? He was tied up in something that McCarthy was investigating. I'll visit the morgue later today in hopes to get some more details. I've also found an envelope with him that might lead to new intel. All right, everybody, that's it for today. Dismissed. Okay. I've yeah. brought some of the items to the evidence chamber. Seems like everyone is on their way already. Oh, and what is that? Ramirez actually put his stuff into a locker? Praise the neon. He might actually get his shit together. Okay. On the other hand, now that he's working on my case, I should probably be more easy on him. Don't need to make things more complicated than they already are. All right. Uh, there's nothing I need to do in here, I don't think. What about you? Let's talk to I you first. Nothing. To nothing. Uh, hey, do you wanna? <laughs> you wanna see this thing now? Okay. We should not leave the bishop waiting. Let's go there now. Okay, we're gonna go to the bishops first. Oh. Okay. Hello, Agent Tanner. I have an appointment with the bishop. Yeah, you're on the list. Yeah, you look Go right miserable. Through. Bishop Atura is waiting in the study. Okay, cool. Not the humblest of homes. Definitely not. Let's go. Good, you're here and on time. That's a cool backdrop. As a gesture of goodwill, I will start. Listen closely. The book you found is mine, and it was I who hired an expert to cover the original text. It has been in my family's possession for a long time, so I expect you to handle it with utmost care. Mr. Corso brushed you off with some superficial tidbits in my interest. He forgot to mention that the author Zoroaster is just the Iranian name for Zarathustra. How is that possible? The book is supposed to have been written long before Zarathustra was even born. That's the big question, isn't it? Well, you know that Hendrik Beckenheim didn't always carry the name Zarathustra, but did he just pick that name on a whim? I don't think so. I presume he got his hands on a similar text from the original Zoroaster, which is probably also his source for his prophecies. But in all honesty, none of that really matters. My ancestors took the warnings in the book very seriously, and I didn't. Only when Zarathustra took his life did my perspective begin to change. And when someone tried to break into my home to steal the book, I knew it wasn't secure here anymore. Thus, I hid it in plain sight at the cathedral. Now someone found out about that, presumably the same person who tried to steal it in the first place. But he didn't take the book. 
He tore out some pages and left it behind. So you do know what was on these pages? Well, I didn't dare to make a copy of the text, but I have a rough memory of what was on there. It was a description of some kind of ancient ritual. Though I couldn't make much sense of it, as the crucial parts were encoded, and I never found the correct key to decipher them. Now that I've shared that information with you, I wonder if there's something you could tell me about the case in return. <clears throat> the murderer officer left behind his digipad with an ominous symbol on Here, it. Here, have a look. Have you seen this before or know what it means? Yes, yes. The yellow It side. is! It's, yeah, it is. Okay, it the is Haster. Has taps on this is um, Lovecraft's work. This is uh, groups and cults. Haster, yeah. And I remember that... I mean, we've got the entire collection symbol, of H.P. Lovecraft's work, so I thought I recognised The Cult of the Yellow Sign, or Cultus Sine Flavi. I don't know much about it. I was under the impression the that it's yellow not much King. more than a book club with only King a handful yellow. of members. My men will compile a dossier. I'll forward it to the agency. Expect it next week. Uh, you're searching for an Anna Steele. She's our main suspect in the murder of Officer McCarthy. But she's a blank slate. We are still completely in the dark about who we are dealing with. Here, I'll show you a picture from her file. A beautiful young woman. No, I haven't seen her before, but with those distinct implants, I'm pretty sure I would recall. Wait, maybe I have seen her, not me directly, but my security guard. A few months ago, he escorted a woman off my property who might fit her description. It's a long shot, but you should ask him. Okay. Very well. I hope we can continue this collaboration going forward. Goodbye. Peace! Uh, do you have anything around interesting for me to look at? An expensive-looking, otherwise unremarkable office chair. It's like the flesh is sprouting from him like angel wings. Talk about a god complex. Mm -hmm. Quite an impressive collection. Other people collect weapons. My family collected knowledge. But please, we don't have time to indulge in old stories. All right, peace, bitch. The bishop mentioned that you've escorted a woman off the property. Please have a look at this photo. Yeah, that's her. She had a different haircut, but I remember that technique. She wasn't any trouble, though. Left when I asked her to. What about her? She's wanted for murder. Oh, jeesh. Think she was coming for the bishop. Honestly, I don't know, but keep your eyes open. If she returns, call me. Here's my number. Okay. Um, we have a few places to check out now. Uh, we have a few. I don't think there's ever going to be any... Oh, yeah, there is going to be something at the station. Okay. <coughs> Look who's finally arriving at her crime scene. Her Majesty Chief Investigator Amy. Oh, shut the fuck up. Cut it, Ramirez. Have you mapped out the tunnels? Found anything useful for a change? Oh, I would never think about taking away that spotlight from you. I'm sure you can find the clues all by yourself. But yeah, I'm doing my part. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll upload the map to your digipad. Much obliged. Now, if you excuse me. Please don't tell me I have to figure that out myself. Like from the digipad or not. Oh, okay, good. Exit. Uh, a few things to look at. Old Lots machinery. Lots of rusted old machinery in the tunnel. But it seems to be still in use. I guess the abandoned station wasn't abandoned completely then. Uh, what about you, FBI she agent seems busy. I should come back if I have any questions about the... Okay, continue. Oh, What? What? Uh, anything here? A lock is holding the gate in place. Okay. There's something behind the gate. I we don't have a key. No, okay. Oof. This panel? seems to be a control panel for the machine, but you need a key card to use it. Yo, JJ, how we doing? How we doing? I hope we're all well. What is Sega Mega Drive is this? Uh, this is a game called... Fuck, it's on my... I forget how to pronounce it. It's in the game that we're actually playing. 
Um, Some kind of machinery is stopped. Point and click ball. detective game set in like a futuristic thing that's got something to do with the Haster and a church that believes the way that follows the way of flesh and some of that follows the way of neon a church that follows the way of neon and yeah, yeah, aliens aliens yeah there you go there's my description for you mate can't physically do anything about any of this shit yet because i need a card fine anything down here there's a gate just a gate a massive steel grate this looks like a dead end. It looks like. Okay, let's go up. According to my digipad, this must be the place the GPS coordinates lead us. I oh. bet whatever we are looking for is behind that door. Okay. Is it gonna... yeah. There's something metallic beneath that moss. Okay. There's something... Okay, then fucking remove the moss, you silly cow. First off, let me go check down here. Okay. We've got a few things here. Uh, woman. Hi, I'm Agent Tanner, looking for loud. this woman. Have you seen her? Yes, she was sneaking through our camp a few days ago. Where did she go? She was hiding behind those boxes for a while. Then she left as quietly as she came. Was she speaking to someone? No, I don't think so. She didn't pay any attention to us. Uh... You? Hello, sir. Please have a look. Have you seen this woman before? Of course I have. Oh, God. Great. Can you tell me where she went? Oh, she's dead for many years now. Uh... No, that's impossible. She's very much alive. Dorothy is alive? No, this is Anna Steele, a murder suspect. My wife didn't kill anyone. She was the kindest person on earth. No, you're mistaken. This image doesn't show your wife. Never mind. Thanks for your help anyway. Might be. Sure, Might no be. problem. If you find her, tell Dorothy that I miss her. Might be. Could be. Okay, there's two things here. There's a fire. The boy is roasting a lump. Yep. Boy. Hello? Have you seen this woman coming through here? Looks like a hmm. titan. No, doesn't ring a bell. She's your friend? No, not really. That I'm boy has seen better days. Okay. Okay. Boxes. There's a small key lying beneath one of the boxes. Maybe that belonged to Anna. Have we taken it? We've taken the key. Okay. Uh, a small key. Which one of these would be fine? There's something... This? Whoops. Would it be fine for this one? There's something... No, There's okay. something... Maybe there was this. Uh, lock. That didn't work. Shit. Okay. Use that on that. Small key I found in the sewers. Super, uh. Hmm. Not that then? That needs a control panel. Sorry, it needs a card. That's where I've just been. This? No. Uh, surely... There's yeah, there's something beneath the moss. Just scrape the moss away, man. I feel like that would work. Can you not, like, there's scrape something... the moss away, you silly cow? Um, shit. Talk to you now. Solved the case already, did you? I hope I'll get invited to the party. What's your problem, Ramirez? You're bitching day in, day out. What have I done to you? I, uh, you rode into town on your high horse with that college education, and I'm working my ass off for this city for years. But still, you get the high-profile case and a fancy neon implant. Oh, shut this the fuck up, This case started as a simple book theft. Did you forget that? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. People like you always get lucky and just fall up the career ladder. 
while I get shit at home from Jenny, telling me I should put in the extra work to get somewhere with my job, but I stopped believing she cared about me long ago. It's all about the Benjamins. The Benjamins. Have you asked Parker for a raise? How? I'm doing the same jobs for the last 10 years and it's going nowhere. Maybe that's because you are doing a good job and 10 years is mighty impressive. From what I've heard, you have quite a pristine track record. I think you deserve it. Yeah, don't look at me like that. I'm serious. Hmm. You this really guy has no so, initiative. Well, when summa cum laude graduate Amy Tanner thinks so, then I guess I have to ask for a raise. Okay. Right, let me... Have a look at all the other places. So, I can't go there. Uh, we've been to the station. I can go to the convenience store. Why would I want to go to the convenience store, though? Uh, convenience store. Not the humblest of. No, not the humblest. Of I want to talk to the bishop. Again. Hey. What? Oh, oh sorry. We're going to talk to the bishop check? again. I need to speak to the bishop. Sorry, I can't let you through without an appointment. I'm on official business here. It's important that I speak with him. And it's important that I don't let anyone in disregarding the bishop's schedule. I'm sorry, but you really need to make another appointment first. Well, shit. Uh, there's nothing I can give them. All right. Uh, so that's his place. Uh, the morgue. There was something here, right? I'm here for the autopsy results of Aaron Nowak. I'm not quite finished yet, but if you have specific questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Okay. I'm mostly interested if he was intoxicated when he had that accident. No, he wasn't. I did find indications that he was using at some point, but no traces that he took anything at the time of death. Did you find anything else that stood out to you? Not really, no. I've seen my fair share of car accidents, and this one seems to just add to the tally. The database says he has family in the city. I thought you might want to call them. Okay. Yeah, I should. Thanks for letting me know. Cool. So we've got that information now. Um, got that info. Neon Temple. Can't go there. Uh, what about the FBI headquarters? Do you have anything? I have nothing to. Nothing. Cool. Anyone in here to talk to? No. Back out. Cool. 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 Station. Uh, no one here wants to talk. I get that. Fair enough. Um, we got the hospital. We got the bookstore. There's nothing new up top here. Okay. All right. We'll go to the hospital first. Look at Jesus that Christ, that's a hell of a cool looking over there hospital. Like a dark fortress. Even with all the neon lights of the city, it just swallows the light around it. On the inside, it's all miracles and wonder. Let's find out if there's something wrong with us. Okay. Cool image, though. Uh. Wait, impatience. A whole line. He's sleeping. That. Okay. Receptionist. Sure. Please oh, she looks the cool. On your digipad, and you will receive a registration number. Uh, how do I confirm the registration? Open your notifications. There should be a request displayed from Kingdom Hospital. Just press the grant access button and you're good to go. Okay. Mrs. Nowak? This is Agent Tanner from the FBI. Oh, I'm calling someone. Oh no. What trouble did Aaron get into this time? Oh, he's dead. I'm afraid I have bad news for you. Your son had a fatal car accident. This is something you don't do on the phone. Did... Had he taken something? No, he was sober. I'm so sorry. I was first on sight. He did not suffer. Can I see him? Tomorrow afternoon. I mean, yeah. Breakfast. Here, I'll Which give Which parts do you want to see? The bits that are all over the road or Thank the bits that are in the morgue? I have to go now. What was it again? Open your notifications. There should be a request displayed. You're saying open my notifications. Bitch, where? On what? Okay, I've confirmed oh. the registration. My number is 51. Uh, As you can see, we're quite busy today. Expect to wait for at least two hours. Oof. 
But I don't have that much time. I have work to do. Is it an emergency? No, not really. Well then, then shut the fuck up. Just have to wait or make an appointment. All right, peace. Uh, let's go to the bookstore. Bookstore. Agent Tanner, what brings me the honor of your visit? If you're asking me to do more translation work, I'm afraid I have to decline. Totally of course, though, I didn't else. expect you to be the bishop's lapdog. Got a nice surprise call last night. As I stated before, Miss Tanner, I'm first and foremost a businessman. I trade books, but I also trade in favors, and the bishop is a long-standing customer of mine. If you're speaking confidentially with me, you must let me know, so such an awkward misunderstanding doesn't repeat itself. It's not that complicated. Everything between you, me, and the FBI is confidential. Understood? You've made yourself perfectly clear. Now how can I be of service? All right. Uh, is there anything new to look at here? No. Uh, well, I could go. I'd like to go on the computer. The owner of the. Do you know this key? No. Cool. Hands off, unless you have a fucking. I will get your computer. No, bro. Do I have anything to give you? You want to see my kinky collar? Mm. Exit. What else is there to do? There's something with that key, man. Can I look at the key? No. What would that key be for? Have I been anywhere else where there's a key? Like, why can I go here? Contrary to what you... Ugh, that must be... Ah, oh, one cover to go. right up. Be careful. Do I now have it in my inventory? I do. I've got a feeling I've got to go back into the sewers. Uh, here we go. I'd rather not... Do I give him the coffee? Let's go to the camp. Who do I give this coffee to? Do I give it to the... No. 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 Okay. Shit. Uh, pour the coffee over. <laughs> Mold. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't think so. Um... Do I need to give the coffee to someone as like a gesture? Go to go to the entrance. What do you mean that didn't work? I'm not. Oh, that's why. Because I got that open. Go away. Do I need to drink this or something to like me? No, you. What would the coffee be good for? I'd rather not talk to him any more than I have. <laughs> Do I give it to the... This guy to keep him awake? I thought you could need Hey! Him. Oh, yes, please. That's much better. Almost this guy is the again. most depressing voice. Okay, I know what you want. Fine. I'll call the bishop and ask if you can talk again. Just a moment. You're in luck, he agreed. Go right through. All right. What's so important that it can't wait? Everything. Uh, do you know this key? It's me in the morning. No, I don't know this key. Do you know these? No, okay, let's just talk. Oh no, how embarrassing. I don't know what I should ask him. Complete blackout. Are you for real? What about this? Do I need to... No. Ah! It's me in the morning. Yeah, no, dude, you're, uh... What? Ah, feck. Do I just leave and then remember? What? Do any of these matter? That's okay. 
Do my kinks make you uncomfortable? Oh, okay, so she is talking about her kinks. Bit odd. Uh... I'm sorry. I mean, I've already gone through this conversation with her. Okay. You know what? Uh... Do you have a family? Yes. My parents still live in Peoria. My dad is an accountant. Everyone thinks it's the most boring job in the world, but he can't get enough of it. And I also... Oh, shit. Okay. How many of them I don't know. Maybe he'll just fix it. At least that's what I hope. Are you... Afraid of to die? To die? No, death has no meaning. I'm not sure. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Is a sleeping guy in the hospital? Of course, I don't want to die. Just like everyone. No, I mean, I realistically, to me, that's... Well, we'll find out it happens. Soon. Can't avoid it. Whoops, a daisy. Where was the hospital again? It was there. Excuse me, sir, are you sleeping? Oh, thank you, lady. I've almost missed my number. I got bored and must have fallen asleep. Listen, I'm in a real hurry solving a case for the FBI. Would you mind swapping numbers so I can see the doctor next? Oh, sweetheart, I would love to swap numbers. But no, I'm so terribly bored I would just fall asleep again. Maybe I could provide you with some form of entertainment. How about I bring you something to read? Oh, um, I would like to get I'd my still hands say on no. the new bunny house issue, but no, I can't just read a dirty magazine in public, can I? <laughs> Listen, I'm in a real hurry. So oh I shit, we're having that same conversation. Maybe I could provide. Oh, I would like. Uh, can I not just give him this? <laughs> give him the big expensive. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to the shop to buy a dirty magazine. Sure, here is your magazine. I'll withdraw the amount from your account. Do it. Don't let society kink shame you. You read that porn in public. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Hell, wank in public, mate. Bruh, I got you. I've got you. Stand tall. I'll put that away. I won't read that with everyone watching me. And proud. Listen, I'm in a real hurry. So oh, did you, you put your... Okay, do I have to, like, I hide it in another book or something? <laughs> Can I, like, hide it in the... No, 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 no. Uh, shit. Um. A whole... Fucking hell. Can I, like, does she say anything about it? No. Bruh! I've got you, you... Can I hide it in an envelope? <laughs> Just hide it in the book. I hide that in the book. It'd be funny. Uh. Listen, I've just had I'm that same conversation with him. I clicked on him again. Fuck! As soon as I clicked, as soon as I clicked, bro, just take the book. I'll put that away. I won't read that with every. Then go somewhere, brother. Fuck me. Uh. How do I hide the book from someone? Hey. Uh, not the humblest of. Hum no, it's not. Hey, um, uh, Mr. Priestman, do you want this? <laughs> no. Cool. Um. Shit. Let's think. Let's think. I think I... Uh, book started? I'm looking for an empty book cover. Do you have okay. one lying around here? Okay. As a sign of goodwill, pick one from the books in the box to the right. Nobody's going to buy those anyway. Uh, you mean these? I've removed the cover from one of the books and put in my briefcase. Okay, cool. What have you got? I've hidden the magazine... <laughs> Doesn't this make it extra creepy? Yeah, bro. Are you expecting me to read a children's book? Oh, wait. I see. Well, that should keep... Oh, that makes it weirder! Fine. Take my number. You've give... That 
Yes, I I found that odd. You decided to put it in a, a porn book in the kids' covers. How can I help you, Miss? I I I, I don't. I've know. recently gotten my connection, and now I'm having trouble with my neural interface. My guide is seeing things, and we both had these strange nightmares last night. Turns out it's a Kama Sutra. That's probably just a memory feedback loop. Nothing to worry about. We'll run a diagnostic test You know test what they say, database. keep it in the nurse. Oh, if God. Turns out okay, you what about, what if, like, he gets a boner, and people see that he gets a boner, really but he's holding a kid's now, book? Please lie down on the bed so I can Like, come on, that's just weird. I just spoke over all of that. There are... Uh... You know, fucking now, in the bed. Calm. What the fuck is all that? Running the diagnostics Bats! will shut down the connection to your nervous system for a while. Don't worry if you can't see or move for the next fifteen to twenty minutes. That's completely normal. Just ring the bell. When yeah, don't you're worry back if you're completely immobilized. So, Jesus Christ! In person. Just get shit out of me. Too bad you can't speak right now. She looks sick. I would love to have a chat. We'll make this quick, and I'll be gone before you regain control over your nervous system. Let's get this over with. Right. Interesting. The others will be very pleased. You might actually still prove useful. Mark me down as scared and so haunted. So we will meet again, little Amy. Stay strong, and the Yellow King might grant you mercy. Okay. Oh, I have to ring the bell, right? Yeah, call doctor. You're up again. Everything okay? <laughs> How are you feeling? Screw my feelings. I could have been dead by now. Whoa. Calm down. I just knocked what my are desk. You talking about? Anna Steele, the murderer in the ongoing investigation, just paid me a visit. That's impossible. The room was <laughs> locked and only accessible by authorized personnel the whole time. Then she must have stolen access or broken into your system. Okay, go back to the lobby and report the incident. They will contact security and help you. Uh, are you all right? No, I'm shop, half left. Yes, I think so. Uh, good. And in other news, the diagnostics returned nothing. Your interface is working fine. Ugh. Just as I said, it was probably just a feedback loop. Nothing to worry about. However, if you do encounter any physical pain or sickness, you should come back. Okay. Uh, exit. Uh, receptionist. Re receptionist, thank you. Uh, someone broke into my What room. happened? While my neural interface was in shutdown, a woman called Anna Steele broke into my room. She's a murder suspect in my ongoing investigation. How did she get in there? I'm very sorry. This is a serious security violation. I will call over the head of security immediately. Uh. Name and room number, please. Amy Tanner and I think 541. Okay, that checks out. Room is vacant. I'll open the door. Awesome. So did I actually leave anything in here? Object. There's an object lying under the bed. Wait, is that one of those probes I've found at McCarthy's body? Did I just pick it up? I did. Okay. Uh. Neon tech is the... Okay. So we found that. Um... I've got scissors with me. Uh... uh. You want to report an incident, ma'am? Oh my god, it's the famous yes. voice from, uh, from the from the AI. Anna Steele broke into my room. Here I have a picture of her. Thank you. That will help a lot. I can assure you that we are taking this very seriously. I will have one of my men run the image through our security system and check the logs to see <sighs> who entered the room and when. Did the woman do you any harm or was anything stolen? She was doing something, but I don't know what exactly. But no, I feel fine, and nothing's been stolen. Good. I will contact you personally if we find anything. Again, we are very sorry for what has happened, and I'm taking full responsibility. Have a pleasant day. Okay. Um... Can I go back to the FBI headquarters and talk to... Uh, you? I have nothing to... Like this again? Hello again. I found another one of these probing devices. There was an incident at the hospital, and I'm afraid the device might have been attached to me. What do you mean? Did someone put this on your chest? 
Maybe. My neural interface was in diagnostics mode, so I didn't see anything. That sounds terrifying, but you seem all right, yes? Yeah, I'm feeling fine. But can you tell me if that thing did anything? Sure. Let me see if I can access the logs. Yes, it was activated, but this time it seems the checksum check was positive and it didn't sprout. You were lucky, I would say. Though it did send your neural ID over the air. Is that dangerous? What could someone do with that ID? Oh, I wouldn't worry too much about it. They could identify you if they had access to the manufacturer's data. But as the device was used in person, they already know who you are, I guess. So, are they going to try and control what they like what I see or something? Huh. I've got scissors now that'll probably clear out this thing over here. Uh, was it this door? Yeah. The moss there grows too close to the brick. I can't get the scissors between it. I need a different instrument. Fuck me. Like what? Give the probe? Uh, what do you mean it grows to it's moss? This seems to be a control panel for the machine. I can't the use the lock on rusted. that. I can't get it open with bare hands. So I need to hit it with something. I'm gonna hit it with this. No. <laughs> this isn't gonna work, is it? The lock is too rusty. Yeah, didn't think so. Uh. Oh, that's already where I've been. Um. You got that. You got this. Nope, wrong thing. We've got the gate. Nope, wrong thing. Sorry. This dead end, supposedly. A massive steel. And then we've got the camp. Does any of this. Do any of y'all need scissors? No. No. But he wants to talk. Can I have that metal spike when you're done eating? I'll trade. Do you have anything fun? You want this? I need to think more American if I want to open that lock. <laughs> Bullseye. The prize, some crooked piece of metal. First metal piece. A pair of scissors. At least it looks like another pair of scissors. Uh, yeah, do you want something? I um It's awful that Do you want this? Doubt it. Yeah. Do you want this? Doubt it. Do you want a pair of scissors? Don't run with them. Doubt it. Do you want a dog collar? No? Okay. You want to swap something? Whoa. Also, do I have anything on this I need to do? No. Still no clue. Hmm. Uh, anything here with you? Nope, never mind. Cool. Uh, not the home. Do I need to? I've been ambushed by Mrs. Steele at go. the hospital. She mentioned a yellow king. Does that ring a bell? Careful now. Few who've spoken this name live. Are you threatening me? Quite the contrary. I'm warning you. The less you know, the better. How did you end up at the hospital anyway? That's private. So you are not going to tell me more about that king? No, I won't. For your own good. The bishop's Fuck not you. talking to me. Maybe I should ask someone Bottom else. Fuck you! Bottom all over again. 
Um, the only other person I can think of that will know anything about the Yellow King... Oh, wait, did I need to go to the morgue for anything first? She's no. busy. Um, the only other person I can think of that will know anything about it is this dude. Do you know something about a Yellow King? I've come across that name before, yes. It was mentioned in a text that I restored for the bishop. Please speak directly to him if you want to know more about it. Well, I've won't. already tried that, but he's blocking me off. <clears throat> That's unfortunate. May I propose a quid pro quo? Bishop Atura is always interested in, let's say, more personal information. If you have something to share with him, he might give you the information you are seeking. Personal information? Oh no. What's, what am I going to have to tell him? Mr. Corso suggested an exchange of information. Oh. I will okay. tell you the why I stuff. went to the hospital and about the strange nightmares I shared with my spirit guide. And you will tell me about the Yellow King. You've talked with Corso about that? Hmm, he should have known better. Well, first tell me about the nightmares, then we will see how that affects my mood. Keeping your cards close to your chest. Okay, fine, I will tell you. Okay. It was a random sequence of events. A city in ruins, a battlefield, soldiers attacking a flesh church. I couldn't make any sense of it. First thought, it was just another nightmare. <clears throat> but it felt different. And when my spirit guide told me he saw them as well, I got worried. That's not supposed to happen. The cycle wars. What? The what? That's what Please I said. sit down. I'm going to tell you a story that will take a while. All right, chat, buckle in. The book you have retrieved was in possession of my ancestors for over 300 years, <laughs> and it's only a copy of a much older text. In one of the chapters, it recounts the history of mankind. See, the aliens didn't just visit our planet once, Sick but artwork. every 20,000 years. While the gifts they bear usher in a new era of technological advancements, they also plant the seed of the greatest conflict that ever seared the surface of the planet. In every cycle, tensions between the churches arise, eventually leading to war. And after decades of conventional warfare, the Church of Flesh gains the upper hand. In desperation, the radicalized Davis release a virus that destroys every electronic device on the planet and kills more than 90% of the world's population. An event described as Cybergeddon. Cybergeddon. My okay. family took it upon themselves to break that cycle. For centuries, we have worked in the shadows, strategically positioning key elements to lay the groundwork for what will soon transpire. I am on the verge of unifying the churches under a single command, creating an alliance strong enough to prevent any conflict and avert the outbreak of war. Okay. That single command will be yours, won't it? It's not about me, although I am uniquely qualified for the position. This is about establishing a new world order, one that will foster peace and harmony among people. Uh, where does the Yellow King play into this ah, story? yes, I almost forgot. The color yellow is of significance here. Remember, the cult of the yellow symbol? I do have more information on them than I've led you to believe. The cult was founded by my great granduncle Eliah Woodward out of a dispute Eliah. over the interpretation of Zarathustra's text. He was convinced that the diver are incapable of cooperation with our church and that our yeah. plans were all in vain. Instead, he brushed off all the prophet's warnings and dedicated his life to researching the forbidden yellow sign. Those stolen pages might doom us after all. If the cult manages to perform the ritual to bring back the Yellow King, they might succeed in breaking the cycle. But in doing so, they may also break reality itself, unleashing an evil that the world, the universe, has never seen. Uh, maybe the universe How is better off without existing. Our best chance? Catch the woman you're after. From what you've told me, she's most likely at the forefront of the cult's endeavors. Am I supposed to just believe all of this? You're supposed to go after the murderer of that officer, and I want that woman out of my way. Motivations matter little when the results are just the same. Okay, why am I dreaming about Exactly the my question. Did the doctor find anything unusual with your interface? No, everything seemed in order. Do I have anything to worry about? 
Yes, of course. We should all be terrified of the future. You have to catch that woman. She's a threat to my plans, and she's probably the most dangerous to your own well-being. Okay. There was a massive war that nearly wiped out humanity. Why are there no historical recordings of it? During the inflection, the memory of each and every human had been altered in the wink of an eye. Don't you think they could just as well erase the memory of such a conflict in the same way? But we would still have found proof in the world around us. You would assume that yes. The Raz Azi mentions a cleansing period briefly. The text is vague, but I've come to the conclusion that it refers to an event where the earth is scrubbed of all evidence. Don't oh, ask me how they did it, but they are so much more powerful than we could even comprehend that I think it's more than likely what happened. All right. Well, shit. Cool. We've uh, got some new information now. Um... Anything new I can do over here? Can I talk to you? Nope. Uh, you're just a... Oh, wait, I can say something. Hi. Can you tell me something about that flesh machine in the Western Tunnels? Yeah, I've also wondered about that. I've called someone from the station. That thing is a generator that provides electricity to the lights here in the tunnel. Okay. The big metal thing is some kind of battery, and the flesh tendrils convert sunlight to energy and transfer that through the whole underground system. Ah, thank you. Good to know. Okay, we now know more. Now, is there anything else new here? We've got everything we need there. Uh, this is the flesh thing. Can't do anything with that because I've got none of that. Uh, we have a dead end here we still can't do shit with. We have the door here I still cannot do anything with. This kid wants something. It's awful that in our wealthy society, young people... I have nothing to give him. Nothing. So there's nothing I can do here. Uh, I can't go there, I can't go there, I've been there. There's nothing I can do in here, I think. Yeah. Uh... There's nothing he can say or do for me. There's the morgue. She's busy. I shouldn't take any. There's nothing here I need to do with the morgue. I don't think. No. Okay. Uh, burn. Can't go there. There's the hospital. There's the. Let's go to the hospital. Is there anything I can do in here? He's reading his magazine. I bet he is. A whole. Uh, nothing more to do with you. Okay. Uh, what about this precinct? Is there anyone or anything I can talk to? There is nothing in here. Okay. FBI, what about you? I have nothing to ask. Nothing. I know the kid wants to play with something, but I don't I really... I don't think I have anything for the kid to play with. Um, Let's just have a look around before I go anywhere else. Do you know something about a yellow... I've come across that name Okay, before. no. I've already I've... tried... That's on. What's, what's in my briefcase? Maybe that? A toy robot? Maybe the toy robot? Uh... On a toy robot? How about I'll give you this robot? Yeah. It can record and play back audio and move around. I'm not six anymore, but okay, I guess I can waste some time with that thing. Okay, thank you. What have you just given me? What do you mean that didn't work? What? I'm not, I'm asking you to... Um... Okay. She's just sick. An old man is standing in front of the tent, with one leg in a cast. He's scratching it constantly. She's just sitting there, staring into the fire.
Hmm. A massive. Do I need someone else to put these things together? <sighs> Thoroughly. Do you know it's handy having uh, the game one of the game devs <laughs> in your chat, huh? Especially one of these. Can I borrow that bone chisel? Oh. Could come in handy on my case. Yeah, okay. Don't need it right now, but please don't forget to return No it. morgue will ever do that. Like, ever. Okay, well, let's get to that moss. Get off that fucking thing! There we go. Alright, uh, enter, enter to the mossy, mossy door, to the bone chisel, to this, to ha, taking that shit off. I managed off. to scrape off most of the moss. There was some kind of mechanism hidden beneath it. Was that? By any chance, was it for the key? No. Huh? There's an empty axis in the middle of this mechanism. No. I'm still missing at least one piece to complete the mechanism. Shit! So we now know it's that. So we've got a mechanism that we need to find. Okay. Let's go and hand back the... Uh, oops, shit. Let's go and give back... The piece from the morgue. Uh. She's busy. Yeah. Okay, turns out I still... I might need it still, apparently. Um, would he know anything about? Do you know something about a fuck? It's the same guy. I've already tried. That's unfortunate. Yeah, dude. Oh shit, no. Where would the third piece be? Would he have the third piece? Bro, do you know anything about this shit? No, cool. Cool, thank you. Peace out. Ah! It walks into the kitchen. Hey, yo, can I borrow that knife? Like, get the fuck out of my f place, please. Uh. Hmm. Huh. Huh. You have anything for me yet? I have nothing. Can I give you these things? Could you please oh. analyze this metal piece I found? Sure. I'll run it through the database and make a material analysis. The database has no entries on this object, but we got this strange interference with the superposition again. The metal itself is 86% copper and 12% tin with some other minor inclusions. There are scratch marks on the inside of the ring. I could imagine this might be part of some kind of mechanism. Can I give you the other piece? Could you please analyze this? Is this going to be the same thing? The database yeah, it's the exact same thing. Scratch the exact same thing. Okay. Uh... We can get custom tailored armor. Yeah, I know. I've already got every. Okay, I've already got. <sighs> thinking, thinking. The front deck. Another bit. These tanks are actually computers. Thinking. No, it said there's three pieces. I'm sure it said there were three pieces. I'm still missing at least one piece to... I'm still... Missing a piece. Do I need to use this on anything here? No, I've still got no idea where that is. Already got everything I need in here. A pile of trash. And mm. 
She seems busy. She seems... I'd rather not talk. It's awful that in our wealthy society, young people... St She's just sitting there. An old man is staring. No, I'm gonna work. Uh, bone chisel? No, I said bone chisel. Bro. I said bone chisel! Thank you. No, no, no. <sighs> this is, uh... <laughs> Didn't you all know what this key's for? My mum wants scissors. No. She's just sitting there. It's staring into the fire, right? Yeah, but what? Any of you all know this? There's no one else to talk to here. There's not a. <sighs> Y'all seen this thing? No, you've seen this? No, have you? Have you seen something oh. similar to this metal piece? Oh yes, that looks just like the piece I used to scratch my leg. Where is it now? Oh. Stuck beneath the cast, can't get it out. Damn cast, damn doctor, wouldn't see me again to remove that thing. I have a pair of scissors, my friend. Would you mind if I remove the cast? Please do, it's driving me crazy. Okay, hold still now. I don't want to cut you. There you go. And there's the metal piece. Would you mind if I take that? You don't need it anymore, right? It's just covered in his dead take skin. Take that thing and my gratitude, young lady. All right, peace out. Uh, all right, first metal piece. These parts fit perfectly. Now I just have to find out how to rotate them correctly. It's going to be... Hold up. No, no, see it? I want to see it. I want to see the physical thing. Fuck. Okay, hold up. Uh, This I'm almost certain is at the top. This... Think... Yes! Huh, I did it! The path is Memory! Clear. Let's see what's behind that door. Okay. There's a few things to look at. A cabinet. dusty small file cabinet. It's locked. Motherfucker, I have a key. The cabinet has been cleaned out, but a single piece of paper that's stuck at the very back. Okay. What is this very what is this paper? What is the paper? Name list. A list with five names on it. Three are crossed out, including uh, Neil McCarthy. Only two names remain. Mine and someone called Gregory Elwood. Oh, we've got to find someone called Gregory Elwood then. All right. Uh, what else was there to look at in here? A few things. A ladder. I can't fit that into my briefcase. Too bad. Okay. Posters. A collection of articles, schematics, and flyers. Oh, there's a computer repair ad with Aaron Nowak's address on it. What is this? Some kind of display or crest? Doesn't look like the yellow sign, though. Okay. Let's leave this place. I think I've found all the crucial clues. I'll head back to the city now. All right. Heading back to the city. We've got to find somebody with this name. I have nothing. Yeah, you do. Can we find this person? No? Cool. Oh, actually, no. We need the d this guy. Right? The front desk. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, son. Yeah! I'm afraid I have to ask for another thing. Find me this man. I was expecting something like that. How can I help? See this Gregory Edward on the list? He might be in danger, but I don't want to spook the people that are after him. 
Can you arrange a secret surveillance for the next 48 hours? So you're using him for bait? I don't think I like that. Well, it's more like a hunch. Fucking deal with it! I don't know if he's really in danger, but in any case, he would be more safe with some people looking after him. Hmm. All right, I'll see what I can do. Oh, is that it? Is that the front all desk? Cool, 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 cool. I think we should call it a day. Go home! Let's go home. How long is this game, by the way? Here we are. Man, I'm hungry. Then let's get some fod. How about I order us some pizza? I know you can't smell or taste anything, but still, do you want to choose what kind we eat? Uh, let's order one with tons of veggies. How about a classic pepperoni? I don't remember much, but I think I like pizza Hawaiian the most. Fuck off. I really don't care. You choose. I mean, uh, let's go with some veggies. Sounds good to me. I'll send the order right away. Let's get some veggies. How about we relax a bit on the couch until the food arrives? I. Let's, uh, let's chill out. You know what? Maybe this isn't too bad. Maybe I will feel at home here someday. I think I just felt a bit lonely, especially when Jeff wasn't around and I had nobody to talk to. So, I want to thank you for that. I know you didn't have much of a choice, but I really appreciate your companionship. The Anytime. Doorbell. That was quick. Here's uh, your pizza, uh, hot and tasty. Dude. $19, tip appreciated. <laughs> yeah, sure, thanks for the fast delivery. Make it 25 and charge it on my pad. I wish you bon appetit and a good night from Steamy Slices. That, what a weird name. Is there anything more comforting than pizza in this world? The whole this pieces so of veg! So good. Uh, I'm full. I'll put the rest into the fridge. Think it's time to go to bed now. Didn't even cut the veg up. Holy shit. The cage. It's a padded steel cage. More nightmare? Hey, yo. I love this artwork. To be continued. No, I was invested. I was invested!